I'm Marie Carr. I'm a certified emotional eating and behavior weight loss coach. Today I want to talk about emotional eating. Emotional eating, craving eating, craving foods, um, which I'll talk about more in my second video all about cravings. Um, emotional, I put them in two sort of different categories. Emotional eating is more attached to negative feelings, whereas cravings are attached to the positive, positive love feelings that are kept in the food, stuck in the food, and I'll talk more, as I mentioned, about that later. Um, today, I just want to brief on emotional eating. I want to start off with my story and how this works. Years ago, I was in a car accident, and it was actually a really bad car accident. I um, was in the middle of a, actually just the beginning of a school term in a kindergarten class, and I was hit, and I was in a lot of pain. I was suffering. I was angry because it wasn't my fault. I was, hey, why did this happen to me type thing? And I was on for the rest of the term, and I had a lot of time to eat. And unfortunately, instead of dealing with those emotions in a positive way and, you know, working through my feelings of anger and upset and lonely and whatever else it may be, I dealt with it through food and eating excessively and food, you know, any type of food. It didn't have to be a crave food, a specific one that you love, you know, anything at any time, a graze, open the fridge, something there, take it, just shove it down, feel good for a while, and then wait for almost like the next fix. So... Um, at this point, of course, the scales got higher and I got more depressed and not dealing with issues. Um, over the years, I, um, during this coaching program certificate that I took, I dealt with psychology, subconscious mind, and I realized and got to know how the subconscious mind sets mindsets and programs your brain. Um, really, it holds you back. It likes to keep you stuck. It likes to keep you safe. It likes to um, well, self-sabotage. And when I think of self-sabotage, a good good example is, you know, sometimes things are going so well in your life and everything is just going wonderfully and all of a sudden you take three steps forward and two steps back and you're like, really? I'm back here again? And that that is the subconscious mind self-sabotaging you and keeping you safe and keeping you where you're at. So the good news is I have learned that through EFT or tapping a Emotional freedom technique, as it's called. Um, best way to describe it is like an acupressure without needles on your meridian points. Um, really helps reprogram the subconscious mind with these blockers that are holding you back and um, get you going and moving you forward with things, moving forward with life. So I am offering a coaching program six weeks for $135 and what we will do is go through some of the blockers that are pertaining to you yourself and what my goal is is to um, at the end of it all get you more mindful so that you're still eating like I still eat my homemade cheesecake I love it it's it's one of my favorite things but I don't indulge in a whole piece I might only go for a two or three pieces of it and then like okay that's cool I've had enough I'm I'm satisfied with that I don't inhale it or forget that I'm eating it or eat it and don't even realize that I am I'm more mindful I've got into that um, spot now where I can do that so I'm happy to say um, I've released a lot of yes it is dealing with your emotions so you do go deep in there emotional things will come up um, but it is dealt with through the emotional the EFT tapping which you can do at home with yourself and I can um, I'll show you step by step how to use it how to apply it how to work it and um, the goal is so that you will be able to um, enjoy food eat food and do it in the right ways instead of using it for reasons you know you're angry tired lonely whatever it may be the things that you shouldn't be using food for you're using it in a positive reinforcing way instead and the good news is um, in the beginning of this whole thing I was eating so mindlessly that literally I would have a meal and then an hour later be like oh Okay, so I think I ate. What did I have? And I'd have to literally sit down and say, okay, I don't know. What did I eat? Didn't remember. Inhaled it in two minutes. It's like it was my last supper. Good news is now I can sit down. I can mindfully eat, slowly enjoy it, savor it. And I become to realize that some of those things I was actually eating, like pasta, for instance, for me, it just doesn't really do it. Um, I'm not a huge pasta person. So 
I don't really need to eat it, or if I do not much, um, I'd rather eat something else. So these are things that I begin to realize and understand, whereas before, I didn't care and I never knew. I would just eat it anyway. So there is good news out there. If this resonates at all to you, I'd love to hear from you. Please go to my website, www.holisticallyyourown.ca or .com. There's a contact page in the back. Just leave me a message and I'll call you back and we can set up an appointment. I can even give you a free session and give you an idea of how the EFT works. So thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day.